Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, councillors, members of the public. I wish to oppose this application. I declare a non pecuniary interest as a local resident, having lived in the Roroth Lane area for 15 years. That does also mean that I know the area in question very well. The council have repeatedly said that they would only allow development on this site if the necessary infrastructure were to be in place. So the key question before the councillors this evening must be, has that condition been met or not? I believe it has not on two specific grounds. Flood prevention and traffic. One, flooding. As anyone who lives in Rayleigh and this district knows, this is an important and indeed a controversial issue given the flooding that we experienced last year and indeed the year before. This site will create significant runoff, which will affect the drainage systems beyond the site itself. In fairness, the developer offers £200,000 towards future works to improve conditions downstream of Roroth Brook. But in reality, this work is many years away from completion. I know this because I have a letter dated the 12th of January from Dr. Charles Beard, who is the area manager for Norfolk, Suffolk and Essex of the Environment Agency, and I asked him about Roroth Brook and some other plans they have in Eastwood Brook and Hockney. About Roroth Brook, he wrote back to me formally and said this, and I quote him, at present we have not worked on or planned any flood relief schemes or engineering works to the channel of Roroth Brook and associated tributaries at Roroth and Roroth Shot. In other words, there is no plan for that further follow-on work, and though money has been offered, it is likely to be many years before that work is ever undertaken, whereas the developer wants to start building the houses long before. They fail on flooding. Traffic. The impact of some 500 houses and probably around 1,000 cars is obvious, and I explained in detail in my written evidence when I formally objected <coughs> that the mini roundabout at Roar's Way and the Holbridge Road Junction absolutely needs to be upgraded. Anyone upgraded, anyone here who's familiar with that junction and drives across it knows how bad a junction it is. The developer offers £250,000 towards that upgrade. But to build a traditional roundabout, which is what is required, would require, I'm advised, a sum in the order of about a million pounds. <laughs> the land required is not guaranteed for sale, and as far as I'm aware, no price has been struck. If it had to be compulsorily purchased, every councillor here instinctively <coughs> understands what a complex and long-winded process that is. Even if it had been, the developer tonight relies on another developer who are aiming to build 500 or so houses in Holbridge, Southern and Regional Developments Limited, who reassuringly are registered in Gibraltar, <laughs> to supply a similar sum. However, if you read that developer's planning application, and I have an in detail, it's very clear that based on their traffic survey, which incidentally is nearly five years old, they offer no guarantee at all of funding towards the upgrading of the Roroth Lane Holbridge Road One minute, roundabout. Sir. They say that they would expect contributions to be sought, but they don't guarantee what they would be. So in summary, the key infrastructure question tonight relates to flooding, but especially to traffic. And the key junction that needs to be upgraded is at Roroth Lane and Holbridge Road. The money for that junction is not guaranteed. It is not funded. The infrastructure has not been provided. And therefore, if the council is to be consistent with its long declared position, I would urge the councillors to turn the application down. <coughs> <coughs>